Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. Today's lesson is all about the forehand flick. Now this is a shot that you play when your opponent has done a short backspin serve. You can step into the table and attack the ball with a forehand flick. It's a difficult shot, but if you can do it, then you can really put your opponent under pressure. The tips in this video come from Ferenc Horvat. Ferenc is a really good coach and he plays at a very high standard and he has an excellent way of describing how to do a forehand flick and it's also a shot he's really good at doing. So if you want to get much better at doing a forehand flick, then keep watching. This video is brought to you in partnership with the fantastic Brybar Table Tennis. Brybar sell a wide range of bats, balls, nets, robots and tables from the leading table tennis brands. Go to brybartt.co.uk for more information. Okay, so the forehand flick is a technically advanced uh, stroke. You need to play uh, the ball close to the net, which requires an ability to move in and move out as much as you, as fast as you can. The position you take as a return should be a, a loop, uh, looping distance, and from this position you need to make sure that you jump in as fast as you can. The flick itself and the movement, the, the moving in, doesn't happen at the same time. So you need to jump in first, you need to take a position, and then you do the flick. You need to make sure that from, from the moment you start moving in to the moment you take your position close to the net, you don't jump too high. You may lose a little time by raising the body weight and taking a low balance position close to the net again. So try to jump in fast without raising the body weight. When you got in, you have the ball and you have the racket, the timing is the next the most important factor. If you let the ball come to the highest point, that gives you the maximum chance, the best possible chance to execute the forehand flick. If you take it a little earlier or you are a bit too late and you take it too late, the ball's position is closer to the table so the execution cannot be that effective. The racket angle is depending on the incoming spin. So, if you take much more backspin, you need to try to lower the racket's position a tiny bit and the force you apply, the angle of your flick stroke, will be much more upwards, starting with a wrist movement and after the contact, a follow through from the elbow is coming as a support move. So you get a short one. And this is the slow motion of it. If you get a little less backspin for the serve, you don't need that low racket position, you can put it a little higher, you take a little backswing from the elbow and the wrist, brushy wrist move and the elbow support can make you flick the ball. So let's say you plan to flick straight on the line. 
if you open up your body angle a tiny bit more towards the forehand, it's much easier to execute the stroke. In the same time, you may open a tiny bit on the wrist, then the racket angle is pointing much more towards the backhand corner, plus you may open up your underarm angle from the elbow, and all these three things together makes it easier to flick the ball straight on the line. Okay? You need to make sure that during the execution you are not changing this racket angle. So you pick an open angle and you keep it that way until the finish. After you finish the flicks execution, you need to make sure that you jump back into your original position because you need to continue the rally. So you jump in, you take your flick, and at the, at the very moment of the flicks finish, and you take your racket back, you also need to move back into your position. So you finish, and you come back, and you continue the rally. Thank you very much for watching and a big thank you to Ferenc for sharing his tips on the forehand flick. If you want more information about Ferenc and his coaching services then go to Ferenc's website at paragontabletennis.co.uk. I'll have more videos coming soon so I'll see you then. Bye bye.